Hi, this is Lynn Kelly. Welcome. Today I'm taking part in the Springtime in Paris collab with Cest La Vie Don, Tina Kazarian, and Crafty Kitty. I will link their channels below so you can go check them out. And also, I will add the playlist so you can see the other participants' videos. Like and subscribe and watch the playlist. Okay, here we go. Ooh la la. Tis a bit of Paris. What do we have here to represent Paris? Here we have the Eiffel Tower. Twinsies. Oh my goodness. Yes, I did not have much to work with for Paris for this tablescape. But I happened to... Oops! Oh, the back looks bad. I should not show you that. Okay. I found these wood cutouts at Hobby Lobby. I believe they were 99 cents each. And I painted them black. Okay, so I went with the two setting for this table. Here we have two champagne flutes that were a gift one anniversary. I don't know if it was our 30th or 25th from my mom and dad. I'm sure they don't even, my mom doesn't even remember gifting these to us. But they are gorgeous and I love them. And so I added some tulle and striped ribbon for a fufu effect. Pepe la fufu. <laughs> then, okay, back to the play settings. I used the gold chargers from the Dollar Tree, the white plates from the Dollar Tree, two glass dessert plates from. I believe the 99 cent store, but sometimes you can find these at the Dollar Tree. Then for the napkins, I got these cloth, beautiful cloth napkins at an estate sale. A few years ago, I got a big bag of them at a great deal. This is a piece of cardstock I cut in a circle for a coaster to go under the wine or the champagne flutes. And then this table setting has the silverware on the other side and I just folded it so that the napkin made a little pocket to put the silverware in. It's plastic. Okay, now that I got off the phone call that kicked me off the video, here we are. The tablecloth that I used here is a sheer fabric that is from our Victorville house that I had as part of the bath master bath window treatment and I saved it and I'm so glad I did so I tied a bow at four corners with a piece of tool at each corner and then these chairs are from our patio the candles I had the little bowls I got four in a pack at the Dollar Tree and then I used a piece of I cut a piece of round cardstock to set it on and then I used a gift bag that was pretty beat up but it it had a nice look to it. And then I made the ooh la la sign with a piece of parchment paper and just used a marker to write ooh la la. And then these wood cutouts, let me clue you in on a secret of Hobby Lobby's merchandise. These are so cute. Already finished, 77 cents for this one. Worked out perfect for the Paris theme. And so did this heart one, which was 99 cents. Okay. And then the lipstick and the lips and heart were 99 cents. Isn't that so stinking cute? And then the red high heel, it's actually a pinkish red or a reddish pink. <laughs> and it was, whoops, it's upside down, 79 cents. I mean, what a deal. And then a bike, of course, you need a bike for Paris. The bicycle was 67 cents. I mean, that is so cute. And look, it's even got glitter on it. Okay, so now, moving on to my dessert tray. I put a piece of the matching cardstock paper, it matches the coaster paper, uh, not cardstock, scrapbooking paper, on a tray that I already had. And then I used two of those plastic bowls and filled them with jelly beans from the Dollar Tree. They were sticking together in the package. So I'm wondering if they are from last year's stock of jelly beans. <laughs> Do I dare risk eating them? 
Actually, yes, I will risk eating them. Then I bought a pack of pink peeps because, I mean, how can you have Easter without pink peeps or yellow peeps? I love the yellow peeps too. And I know that the sugar is not healthy for us, but you know what? It is just going towards my stress eating. <laughs> I have had a lot of stress lately. Then I had this box. It is the kind of decorative box that I like to store pictures in, family pictures. So I happen to have already had this box and I love it. Let me show you what it looks like without the flowers on it. Look, isn't that cute? Perfect for springtime. And then this topiary that I made using my paper roses that I had already made a bunch of and then the paper leaves. So I got a wooden dowel and stuck it in a foam ball and glued it in because actually a piece of um, a square foam would have been much better than a round one, which moved around too much. Then I added the moss on top and then a tulle bow. And I think it looks so cute. I need to edit my tutorial for that. So I will get that published soon. And I'm using that in place of the real flower arrangement that should have been delivered on my birthday. This is the fourth day I've been waiting for those flowers. I could not wait any longer to make this video. So I'm using my topiary with the paper flowers. Okay. If the real flower arrangement arrives by 8 p.m. tonight, I will do another video featuring it. But I couldn't wait any longer. Okay, so I think that's everything on the table for this tablescape. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I hope you'll hit that subscribe button and hit that like button for a thumbs up and hit the bell icon twice so you receive notifications when future videos come out. Thanks so much for watching. I want to thank our hosts, Cest La Vie Don, Tina Kazarian, and Crafty Kitty. Thank you to our hosts. Be sure you check out their channel links below and check out the playlist link for all the other participants' beautiful tablescapes. Thank you so much for watching. This is Lynn Kelly signing off, and I will see you in the next video. Ooh la la! <laughs> Have a great day. Bye.